Hey, you be fans. You get your ass all chair. Um, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park history time. Go. In 1990, Michael Cramlett released a novel, Jurassic Park. A horror sci-fi novel. It was a success. So then, Steven Spielberg, you know, the guy who made, like, Jaws. So he made it into a movie. So then, so then, it, it the movie succeeded. Oh, yay! And we're talking about it here! Yay! On with the review. Alright, let's get one thing out of the way. Dinosaurs! They look great. 20 to 20. Now let's look at the plot. John Hammond, a billionaire who owns an island that, coincidentally, has a dinosaur zoo named Jurassic Park, invites three scientists, a lawyer, and then his two grandkids show up. Yeah, don't question it. Invites them to the island. I think I mentioned that, but I don't know. Who cares? So he invites them to the island, except for the kids who just randomly show up. So, though, so they go to the island. They go on this tour. Then this guy named Dennis Nedry hacks some stuff. And then the power. Then he makes the power go out, and the electric fences that keep the dinosaurs from killing everyone also go out. So the dinosaurs are out and start messing everything up. So Nedry gets killed, um, the T-Rex kills some raptors, and, um, everyone is, every, everyone that I mentioned, except for that lawyer and Nedry, escapes on a helicopter. The end. Plot gets an 18 out of 20. Let's talk about the characters in this movie. The characters in in this movie are amazing. But the, something about Jeff Goldblum in this movie, I don't know what it is, but there is something. It's that laugh. That laugh. Characters get 20 out of 20. Overall, Jurassic Park is a classic that anybody can watch and enjoy. For that, I give it a 17 out of 20. Why a 17 out of 20? Because the book ending was better. You want to know why it was better? Because <clears throat> they nuke the island. It's going boom. Boom. Big boom.